Hi everyone, for this question given, if binomial distribution with n 200, p 0.7, use the normal approximation to find the following probabilities. So why we need to use normal approximation? As we can see here in our binomial distribution, the first condition we can see n is large, where n is 200 here. So number one, n is more than 50, the condition is fulfilled. Then number two, we can find NP where 200 times 0 0.7, it will give us 140, which is already more than 5. So second condition also fulfilled. The third condition here, our probability is in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.7. So for this binomial distribution, we need to change to normal. So by using this normal approximation, we need to find what is the mean. Where normal distribution is distributed, need the parameter of mean and variance. So mean will be n times p. It gives us 140. And variance is NPQ. 140Q is equals to 1 minus P. So 1 minus 0 0.7 it gives us 0 0.3. So by using this normal distribution where mean 140 and variance 42 to solve the following probability. For the first questions where probability X more than equal 130, as we can see here, our x firstly is come from the binomial distribution, then only we change to normal distribution. So we start the question from binomial state, then only we do continuity correction to become normal distribution. Then we use standard normal distribution to find out the graph and read the answer from the table. So from binomial, the x here is belong to discrete random variable. When we want to change to normal, means we are changing this discrete random variable to continuous random variable. From here, we need to do continuity correction. Or in other way, we're going to add on the boundary or in the process of plus or minus 0 0.5. So as we can see here, our random variable discrete start from 130, where 130 is included. So more than that, so 131, 132, and so on. So when you want to put on boundary 0 0.5, we will start before the value of 130. So when you change to normal distribution, after continuity correction, the x value here will be 129.5. Then we continue to change this normal distribution to standard normal. So to change to Z score, this value of X need to minus mean where 140 and divide by standard deviation. So this is variant. So we need to find standard deviation square root of 42. In Z score, we only need two decimal. So round off this operation into two decimal, which is 1.62. Then we draw out this standard normal. Negative 1.62 at left hand side. So more than that. So this is the region we needed. In order to read table, table only showing the tail side value. So to get this region, we will use 1 minus the tail of 1.62. Although it is left tail, but in table we will read it as positive tail, we will read it as right tail. So the tail of negative 1.62, we are reading it as positive 1.62. So now we can refer to the table 1.62, which is give you the reading 0 0.0526. So we simplify here, it will give you 0 0.9474. Next, for question B, it asks us to find the probability in between 136 included and less than 148. So firstly, we identify this x. This x is come from binomial distribution. Then it undergoes normal distribution to approximate it. 
So under normal, we need to change it to standard normal so that we can draw out the graph and find from the table to get the final answer. So from binomial, we change it to normal. So as we can see, binomial is discrete random variable. It starts from 1, 3, 6 included until 1, 4, 8. So 1, 4, 8 is not included. The last number is until 1, 4, 7. When you want to do continuity correction, we want to add on boundary. It will start from before 136 and after 147. So the boundary value here will be start from 135.5 until 147.5. So after we changing our discrete random variable to continuous random variable under normal distribution, now we can change this x value to z score. To change it to z score, we minus mean over standard deviation. So z score only take two decimal and we draw out this region negative at left hand side, positive at right hand side in between. Here we have, so we need to find this area. For table, we only can read the tail part. So in order to get this region in the middle, we will take overall probability, which is 1. Then we minus out the right tail table and left tail table. So right tail table will be set more than 1.16. For left tail table also, we were reading it as positive, so 0 0.69. So 1.16, it gives you... 0 0.123 and then 0 0.69 it gives you the reading of 2451 so simplify using your calculator it gives you 0 0.6319 next we go for question C where X is less than 142 so we repeat the process again this is start from binomial then we do continuity correction add on or minus 0 0.5 then we go for Z score, draw out the normal curve so that we can read from table to get answer. So to do continuity correction, 1, 4, 2. So 1, 4, 2 is not include. Therefore, when you have less than that, means the value of 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 0 and so on. So your boundary can start after 1, 4, 1. So X will be less than 1, 4, 1.5. Then we change this value x to z score, where this 1 for 1.5 need to minus me over standard deviation. So here we have the z score in two decimal. Then we draw out the region that we want. 0 0.23 at right hand side less than that. So this is the region that we want. In order to read table, we only have the tail side. So to get this region, we will take overall, which is 1, minus the right tail of 0 0.23. So we minus all this tail side, we can get the region we want. So read out 0 0.23, it gives you 4050, 4090. So answer will give you 0.5910. Then for the next question, where you're finding the x more than 152. So again, we write down the step we want to do. Start from binomial distribution. The x need to change to normal distribution. Then change it to z-score, draw up, find the answer from the table. So to do continuity correction. So this is discrete, more than 152. So 152 is not included means that if start from 153 more than that 154 155 and so on so therefore boundary will be only start before 153 so before 153 after 152 so this boundary can be start from 152.5 so now this one will change to the normal distribution already become continuous random variable now we need to change it to z score where we need to minus mean over standard deviation. So our z score round off it to two decimal 
then when we draw out 1.93 more than that so for this we can read out the table because the table only can show us the right till table so this region is exactly what the table show up so show on 1.93 so it gives you 0 0.0268 so that's all for this question thank you for watching